what's up guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to fix red dead redemption error code access violation c000005 so let's get started if you are facing the error for red dead redemption 2 so you can apply these settings for your red dead redemption 2 also so Solution number one, go to this PC and go to documents, go to Rockstar Games folder. And if you don't have Rockstar Games folder, then I have another solution. So go to Red Dead Redemption folder. And if we have RDR2, then go to Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. But I have Red Dead Redemption 1. Open it and delete all files from here hit delete now go to this pc and go to local disk c go to user username go to app data go to view and check this option go to app data and go to roaming and go to one and double one open this folder and open this folder if you don't have this folder then you will need to go to this folder but i'll go to this folder first open this and open the file and delete all files from here hit delete it now go back and go to this folder open it and hit delete solution number two you need to go to your rda2 uh, game directory so this is my game directory right click on it and go to display settings and scroll down and go to graphic settings and go to browse and remove your old application from here go to browse and select your uh, uh, game launcher so this is my launcher you can see uh, play rdr add options high performance and save browse select another launcher add options high performance and save if you have multiple gpu then you can use these settings to fix the error for rdr2 or rdr1 add and options high performance and save close it and go to the game directory and open your launcher and play the game solution number three Go to this PC and go to local disk C. Open user folder and go to username. Go to app data. So app data does not show, then go to view and check this option hide in items. App data and go to local and go to D3DS catch and delete all files and folder from here. Hit delete. Now go back and go to NVIDIA folder and delete your all folders from here hit delete so some folder uh, cannot be deleted from here and but you can delete your gl catch uh, folder from here it's done close it for more solutions uh, solution number four go to control panel and go to uninstall a program go to category select from here category uninstall a program and go to turn windows feature on or off and check this option net framework 3.5 okay now click here and wait for some time up here so you need to reinstall your net framework 3.5 solution number five go to search bar on your windows and type here dxd iag Press enter or go to run command, click here and go to display. So you can see over your uh, uh, already running uh, graphics card in the background in the windows. So you can see I have HD graphics 4400 and make sure you have uh, direct 3D12 and feature level uh, 12. If you don't have feature level 12, then you need to decrease your feature level in game so you can use uh, direct x 11 in your game to fix the error 
because my graphics card does not support DirectX 12 so this is my DirectX 12 already installed in my Windows not installed in my uh, graphics card in my GPU so this is my GPU and you can see this is my memory uh, graphics card memory uh, 112 MB VRAM and my graphics card my GPU does not support Vulkan if the issue did not resolve then it means your you need to upgrade your GPU because uh, uh, if you have old GPU then you cannot fix the error for your game please upgrade your PC and GPU to fix the error and run the game in your PC and if your graphics card supports DirectX 12 then you'll need to update drivers for your GPU with clean installation for more solutions you need DirectX 9 so I have DirectX 9 now create a folder over here new folder new folder 2 select your desktop click here and select new folder 2 and ok open the folder and scroll down search for set file open it run as administrator now install DirectX 9 in your windows if you're still facing the issue then go to the game directory and go to the launcher right click and go to properties and go to compatibility mod and uncheck this option run this program uh, in compatible mode uncheck it and disable full screen optimization check this option apply and ok so go to another launcher compatibility uncheck this option and check these options apply ok go to another launcher hit properties compatibility uncheck this option and check these two options hit apply and ok so i hope this tutorial helps you and please subscribe the channel thanks for watching